favorite things uh, that uh, we have is uh, LST letters. Baby, what we got for today? This week on LSTT Relationship Letter, dear LSTT, my niece just found out that she is pregnant. She is only 16 years old, and she wanted to keep her baby. But my sister, her mother, wants her to give it up for adoption. She feels that she is too young and irresponsible, and she is not going to raise her daughter for her. I told my sister that we will all pitch in and help. She told me directly, it's not happening. Her quote, she doesn't have any money to have no baby. She better be lucky I'm not telling her to abort the baby. My niece is thinking about running away so that she can keep her baby. I know that th- I know this is a life-changing decision to make, but my niece don't believe in abortions, and I know she does not want to carry her baby to term to relinquish it for adoption. Please advise us on what we should do. Sincerely, the angry aunt. Okay. Mm. Wow. Go around. Miss mm. Rena. Oh, give me a minute. Okay, you want me to come back to you, yeah, babe? Tell you it. I would say <clears throat> having a baby at 16 is not the ideal thing, but it's not the worst thing in the world. That is your baby girl. You know, there can be other things that's worse. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes babies are a blessing from the Lord. You know, so we we don't have... we. We don't know what situation um, that could, uh, how can I say this, Raina? Um, you don't know what, how, how desperate this person can be. You don't know how, you know, when your children do some things, your children, mm-hmm. when your children do some things, they're out of your control, and they might not be exactly what you want them to do and be in life, but they're still your children. Mm-hmm. They're still your relatives. They're still your nieces and nephews. And you just got to love them anyhow. Love them anyhow. You know, um, we were faced with this. It was kind of touching for me. I had to get myself together. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful baby right now. She's 16 herself now. Mm. Um, it came up in my family and Abortion was tossed around. Um, they were still raising kids, and one of the kids is now getting ready to have a kid. It, 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 it was very emotional. It was tough, but I'm so glad that the baby was born. I'm glad the baby is here. The baby's all on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> She's modeling now. Uh-oh. <laughs> she wants to be a doctor. So it ain't how you start. Uh-huh. It's how you end. Uh-huh. You don't know why that baby is here. Uh-huh. God makes no mistakes. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. Okay. Miss Tracy. Yeah, I, I um totally, totally uh agree with you guys. Um I was a young mother at nineteen. My youngest daughter was a young mother at nineteen. And um, even if she had been younger, I would have supported whichever decision Absolutely. she made. Um, because it, it's 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 hard. But like you said, I believe that um, every child is put here for a reason. Mm-hmm. Right now, like you said, I have a beautiful 18-month-old grandson, not counting my other one, but, you know, I'm talking about this particular uh, young lady. And... Um, He's a blessing to both his mother, his father, his grandparents, and aunts and uncles and everybody else. So I would have supported her decision um, mm-hmm. either way. Yeah. And I think as the aunt, it's harder because you are not the parent and you don't want to go against the parent. So I think one of the things that you should do is to talk, and I'm assuming it's your sister or your brother, but talk That's to um, your sister and um, you know help her to understand this is your daughter, this is your granddaughter, you have to um, support whichever decision she makes because you don't want her to leave you, and then you don't get to see her or that grandchild. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is this is a little tough for me too because uh, when I was seventeen years old, um, a young lady that I was with uh, got pregnant, and uh, you know, we we share everything on here. Let's stay together. I'm talk. To think who? Uh, her name was. Uh, I'm not going to tell you her name, yeah. but um, <laughs> not uh, right. and. Um, we, uh, you know, the family decided, you know, to uh, have an abortion. 
And to this day, you know, it still troubles me. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I want to been there. Take your time. Mm-hmm. I want to. I wanted to see what that child would look like. A song. Uh, and so it it, it bothered me uh, a lot. And so uh, uh, it could you know could have been a, a you know a special, and I'm sure it would have been just a special child. So. Mm-hmm. Um, I would just say that, um, you know, like Rena said, there's no mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, allow the baby uh, to live. Go ahead. The um, the aunts and the, the the aunt and the 16 year old seems to me to be the most responsible one. Yes, she's 16. No parent want their child to be pregnant at that age. But for you to blankly say. Give the baby up. I think that's harder than an abortion. You know, you carrying, you you bonding with that baby. I've never been pregnant before, but from what I'm hearing, you're bonding with that baby inside of you, and you bring that baby to term, a healthy baby, you're just giving it away. But as a mother, she seems so selfish. She don't have the money. She don't have that. She don't have that. God will provide. Yes. He will open the doorway up. So to, to you, the angry aunt, Please talk to your sister. And if you're a spiritual woman, pray for your sister. Lead her to to all the best things that could happen. Stop thinking about the negative of what this baby is and what this baby going to be in the house. The baby not going to have a good chance. You don't know what God could do. God turns everything around yeah. in the midnight hour. I yeah. mean, it has yes, happened yes, to yes. all of us. So our prayers are with you, angry aunt, that you would not be angry no more. So continue to pray for her. And wrap your arms around your niece because you don't want her to be a runaway out there on the street. Oh right? God, and no, no health care and nobody to help provide for her and a baby. Because when that mentality of the 16-year-old, you will do that. Just mm-hmm. to think you're getting mm-hmm. away with some peace of mind, but you're running into trouble, more oh, trouble. God, yes. So our, on the Let's Stay Together talk show, we are praying for you to make the right decision. I mean, we know you as the, the girl that's pregnant will make the right decision, but we hope and pray your mother would jump on board with that. And, and, you know, Brendan, I'm going to say this because I've, I've known mothers in that situation. Yeah. And once they look into them baby's eyes and they hold that baby. It's different. It's a whole different story. And that's so, probably so, why she want to get a baby up. She don't want to see the baby yeah, to get so to that. Yeah, so not only, you know, do we want to pray for that for that, that mother of the baby and, and, and the aunt, but pray for that mother, that grandmother, mm-hmm. because you don't want to miss out on something so special. No, mm-hmm. you don't. So let, let's, let's definitely get off of this subject. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to that Peter was, McCain. That was rough for me. I'm yeah. sorry, uh, baby. That was a, that's a, that I, was a, that I've, was I've a been great there with you, Rick, yeah. so I understand. Great yeah. letter. And uh, what's the young lady's name again? The Angry Aunt. Um, I hope you're listening. Yeah. I got your stuff off of Facebook, so we appreciate it. Amen. So we're going to go to uh, something I can probably talk about now. <laughs> 